The co-showrunner of the Netflix series Echoes explains the episode's zany conclusion, making clear Gina's fate and revealing which twin appeared at the end. The Echoes co-showrunner explains that unpredictable finale. Echoes, a seven-episode television series that debuted on August 19 and centers on identical twin sisters Lini and Gina, both portrayed by Michelle Monaghan, tells the tale of how they alternate lives on their birthday every year. Gina is married to Charlie, Daniel Sunjata, a former therapist, and the two of them live in Los Angeles as they spend a year in each other's shoes. The twins' hometown of Mount Echo is where Lini is currently located. She is with her on-screen spouse Jack, played by Matt Bomer. The series increases its reliance on surprises and twists as it goes along. In an effort to get out of the life-swapping position her sister has put her in and the fact that Lini has been in charge of her life for a long time, Gina poses as Lini. This sets up the Echo's finale, when the twins battle on a cliff's brink and share unsettling revelations. Gina allegedly commits herself by jumping to her death, but her body is never found, while Lini escapes to Australia. However, there are clues that Gina is still alive and under a different name. The last scene shows Charlie on a book tour when a woman in disguise approaches him and inquires about the sister who killed herself. Later, when he returns home, he finds another woman waiting for him. Like the audience, Charlie isn't sure which twin he's dealing with. In a post-finale interview with Therap, co-showrunner Brian Yorkie clears up some confusion about the twists of Echoes. When asked about which twin shows up at the book reading, he confirms it's Gina. In the quote included below, Yorkie explains what went into that decision. He also discusses which twin is with Charlie at the end, revealing that it's Lini. We made a decision for Michelle's sake, and for the sake of, you know, the production team, Roland, our awesome costumer. So Gina is at the book reading, it's Lini with Charlie at the end. The number of questions Yorkie fields about Echoes speak to how the drama paced its intrigue throughout the seven-episode run. The show began with a lot of mystery, but even as it began to unfurl seemingly central questions, new ones emerged and paved the way for a uniquely propulsive conclusion. It's a successful approach, as Echoes has overtaken Sandman as Netflix's number one and has led to talks about a potential season two. So much, honey. It had to have been a delightful challenge for Monaghan, who has played all kinds of roles and has the diverse filmography to back it up. It's an interesting enough challenge to play twins for any project. But, in the case of Echoes, which began with a reasonably simple life-swapping premise, only to add more and more layers and unexpected turns, the appeal of getting to embody two people that are so connected and finding what separates them is even more pronounced. For most of the series, we are led to believe that Lini was the missing twin, but towards the end, we discover that it was actually Gina pretending to be Lini. Classic twinery. It turns out that Gina was trying to escape Lini's control, but are either of them really good people? All of this juicy drama comes to a head in the final episode, when Gina and Lini escape their childhood home which burns down with their dad inside. Again, classic twinery. It's not long before the pair end up fighting on a cliff edge, because that's where fights always happen in these kinds of shows. During all this, Lini says she was traumatized from watching their father kill their mother when they were younger. However, Gina reveals that their dad actually did this upon their mother's request, because she was already dying from a terminal illness and wanted to go out on her own terms. As if that wasn't dramatic enough, Gina jumps to her death from a waterfall.